Time for another GED question of the day. Let's read this word problem together. A certain company charges $2.25 per square yard to clean carpets. Okay, so we got some given here. It's $2.25 per square yard. Jack wants three rooms cleaned. His living room, which is 17 feet by 21 feet. His family room, which is 15 feet by 11 feet. And his bedroom, which is 15 feet by 12 feet. How much will this company charge? Okay. So, um, basically, if we are looking, let's see, what's our question here? We've been asked, how much will the company charge? I would say one way to summarize what we've been asked to find is the total charges here. Okay. Right now, we only have one piece of information about their charges, about the money, and that is the fact that they charge $225 per square yard. Uh, but obviously, I am not going to just clean one square yard of carpeting in my house. And so where I have got to start here before I can figure out the charges, I've got to start with, since they charge me per square yard, I've got to start by answering this question. How many square yards are in the house? How many square yards? Well, I'm getting charged by the square yards, so I better know how many square yards. Okay, so a couple things going on with this question. The first thing is that this unit that I'm looking for is a square unit. We're looking for square yards. That's a big clue that this is an area problem. Okay, and so that's really where I'm gonna start with this problem. I'm gonna start by finding the area. Now, um, I've got a few different rooms going on, so let's look at the living room first. We have a living room, and again, as usual, if they don't specify, assume that it's a rectangle. The living room is 21 feet by 17 feet and I want to know its area, and so I'm going to multiply 21 by 17. Now I get 357 here, but I want you to be really careful. This is not 357 square yards. Even though we found area, we multiplied feet by feet. This is 357 square feet. And so um, obviously I'm part of the way there because I have the area, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit more work to get my measurement into square yards. Let me save that till the very end though. Let me go through the rest of the rooms first. And order doesn't really matter on these problems. I'm just trying to do as little work as possible. Um, and so this is kind of the fast way I'm going. So now let's go on to the next one, our family room. Our family room is 11 feet or 15 feet by 11 feet. And so it has an area. Remember to just multiply the two dimensions to find area of a rectangle and that is 165 square feet. Okay. Now, last uh, room we have here is that bedroom, which is a 15 foot by 12 foot bedroom, big bedroom. So we'll multiply that 12 feet times that 15 feet and we get 180, and again, it's feet by feet, so it's 180 square feet. So there's the three rooms that we want to clean and they're individual square footage. Um, and I think before I bother to convert any of this into square yards, because obviously we're gonna have to get to square yards since that was what we were looking for. But before I do that, I'm just gonna go ahead and combine them first. Um, I'm looking for the total here of these three rooms to total three different numbers. Um, you are just go ahead and add them. And so what I will do here is I will add these three square footage that I find for the total square footage of my house. So 357 plus 165 plus 180 square feet gives me a total of 702 square feet. That's a lot of square feet that he wants cleaned. Now what too many students do wrong here is they just do all this work to find this beautiful area and right now they just multiply the 702 by 225 and they go done but be really really careful this two dollar and 25 cent charge is not per square foot it's per square 
yard. And so I have got to do the work to convert square feet into square yards. And so what I'm going to do is divide by 9. Why? I know that if there are 1 yard is 3 feet. Most of us know that. You should have that fact. That's considered common knowledge on the GED. That's fair game. Uh, you, so you should have that fact memorized. So what is one square yard? Well, if I'm to square one, it stays one. If you were to square one, it stays one. But if you were to square the number three, you were to multiply it by itself. Three times three is nine. So be really careful. One square yard is nine square feet. And if you need a a visual of why that's true that doesn't make sense to you um, look at our question of the day from three days back that uh, I went through a whole video on that but one square yard is nine square feet and so what I'm going to do with this number here is I'm going to divide by nine because in each one of those um, square yards there's going to be nine square feet so I'm going to divide 702 by nine to convert this number into square yards. And so I find out that 702 square feet is the same as just 78 square yards. Okay, now I'm ready to deal with the cost because the cost that I have is per square yards and I now have the square yardage of my house. I can go ahead and multiply by the cost per yard to find my total uh, cost. So I'm going to start with these 78 square yards. Each one of those 78 square yards costs me $2.25. So I'm going to pay $2.25 uh, 78 times. So let's multiply by 2.25. And I get this number out of my calculator, 175.5. But remember my unit here. This is 175 what? This is $175. And we know that when you have money, you either have no decimal places or you have two decimal places. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tack on this zero. That's $175.50. Okay, so how much is it going to cost me to clean my rooms? Uh, $175.50. If you have any questions about this, be sure to drop them in the comments.